was outraged on Thursday, December 8, 2022, after beneficiaries of the Presidential Amnesty Scholarship Program sponsored by the federal government were kicked out of their exam halls at Base University, Abuja. Nigerian News reports that Base University is a private university owned by the vice presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Yusuf Dasi Baba Ahmed. It was gathered that the students were all set to write an examination of the course Digital Entrepreneurship General 201 and 185 among them were asked to vacate the institution's multi-purpose hall as they would not be allowed to sit for the examination over outstanding fees. The supervising lecturers were said to have worked out the students who had been screened and allowed to write when a messenger came in to pass the directive. Students, their parents, family members, and concerned members of the public have registered their pleasure with the developments. A source in the school told newsmen that the university authorities interrupted the ongoing exam and threw out the affected students because the government scheme was yet to complete the payment of their school fees for the semester. Some students who lambasted or lamented the situation said it was unfortunate that the school never informed them of what was to occur or drew the attention of the parents and guidance over the outstanding fees. The students, some of who had nowhere to go, having been sent out of the school, having been sent out of the school premises, were reportedly seen around some parts of Abuja on Thursday. Some were bitter over the vast actions, considering how they had going, they are long prepared for the examination with prior notification to the parents. Some of the students lamented that they were among the over 500 colleagues who were already seated in the multipurpose hall of the university to write the examination before a lecturer called out all the students on amnesty scholarship to leave the hall. One of the distraught May students who pleaded that this that his name should not be in the prince to a uh, Vanguard newspaper that on Thursday, 8 December 2022, all students offering the course title Digital Entrepreneurship General 201, amounting to over 500 students in number, convened at the base university multipurpose hall to sit for the final exams for the semester. All pre-exam processes were duly conducted. We were searched, allocated our seat numbers, and schooled on the rules by which we were to be bound for the examination duration. We were seated and ready to start at any moment when a lecturer informed us that he would be calling us a list of names, and if your name or matriculation number is mentioned, you are to walk to the end of the wall. Naturally, we guessed that the aim of this was to filter out the students who had not met the attendance requirements to write the exam. But this theory was struck out when we noticed a pattern. Only amnesty students were being chased or called out. He said they were immediately as escorted out of the hall and taken to the registration block where they were informed through the messenger that they had henceforth been suspended by the school from writing the final exams because they had not paid their school fees for the semester. This was also was all the information we were given as we were left to scatter about the school. Some of us made a choice to write the exam as it was being heard online. We are unsure whether it will be recorded as we did not get the opportunity to sign the mandatory physical attendance in the hall before we were escorted, as he said. <laughs> okay. Meanwhile, the presidential amnesty program has explained why 
this was a hiccup on the payment in the payment of the students school fees according to the section the action taken by base university on the students pap interim administrator major general barry ndiomo retired said there was no effort by the institution to put the amnesty officer nor the parents of the students on notice before they were sent out of the examination hall. Nigerians learned that the Indomi had before the new development written to the institution to notify it of a delay and the payments of the outstanding fees. In a letter reportedly dated November 8, 2022, an address to the registrar of the institution, Dr. Mani Ibrahim Ahmad, the PAP administration explained that the delay in the payment of the 2022-23 fees was due to financial commitments and budgetary constraints. Ndomi ensured that in the letter that outstanding fees would be paid on or before the end of the first quarter of 2023. Okay, so now what is the problem? The problem is that being that a uh, the owner of the base school, who happens to the Roman name of Obi, that for the fact that he's only, why is he that, uh, why should he do so? Because he's going to get a, a much uh, attention. I'm sure this is not the first time this kind of a thing has been happening and nobody ever heard about it. But because uh, the man is a, is now a popular person now, he begins to see that, uh, yes, uh, people are beginning to talk about it. And the question a lot of people are asking is that are they not supposed to pay their school fees? It's not a charity organization. I think they should know the rules. And don't be surprised. Maybe they have been given the opportunity to be writing exams, hoping that they will pay, they will pay. And now they are taking the decision that it's become, it becomes a problem. It becomes a big deal. Why not allow them to write their exams then hold their results if they finally pay are you going to conduct special exams for them? I don't know the school you attended, so they should allow you to sit for exams without paying your school fees. He attended backyard school. <laughs> Is this how this man will run the Federal Republic of Nigeria universities? They should allow they should allow to finish up. They should have allowed them to finish up. Then all their results after payments, you then release their results. I bet you. You never attended any higher institution, even secondary school. Okay, when you establish your business, run it on credit. <laughs> run it the way you want to run it. So, it's running a business enterprise, not a philanthropic organization. We should not politicize issues unnecessarily. Ah, they are going to. They have started politicizing it now. Not that they, they should not. They will. If you if you have a ad flesh now. Mm. So guys, leave your comment down there below and let's know what you think, if what was done ought to have been done or not.